Hey, this is Jeremiah from Waves Live, and in this video, we're looking at the Fit Controller from Waves and MIDI Plus. Fit is the ultimate hands-on control surface for your Waves Emotion LB1 Live Mixer. It has been co-engineered by Waves Audio and the experts in MIDI control at MIDI Plus to offer live sound engineers intuitive, tactile control of the LB1 software. Fit is designed to extend the LV1 workflow to the tactile world, lining up fader for fader with Emotion LV1. It's engineered from the ground up to help you navigate the LV1 software quickly and efficiently, giving you easy control of your faders, channel parameters, and plugin settings. Fit boasts a robust, high quality construction and can be mounted into a standard 19 inch rack. With 17 motorized faders and customizable utility and navigation keys, Fit is fully integrated into the LV1 software for fast, smooth control of your mix. Now I'm gonna give you a first-hand look at the Fit controller and show you how to get up and running. First, let's check out what comes in the box. When you open the box, you'll find the controller itself, a USB cable, and a power supply with both US and European adapters. Also included are the optional rack rails and the necessary mounting hardware. And in case you need additional guidance after watching this video, we've also included a quick start guide. Before launching LV1, we need to connect the hardware. First, connect the USB cable provided to your host computer. You'll notice the USB port on the controller is inset more than normal and equipped with a tension relief post. The power cable is also equipped with a twist lock connector for extra assurance during your show. Next, launch LV1 and head to the Setup tab. In the System Inventory, head to the Controls column, and from the Add menu, select MIDI Plus Fit. Once it's added to your inventory, hit the Settings icon to launch the control panel. If you connected the control surface before you launched LV1, it should be recognized right away. But if you connected it after launching the software, hit the Refresh button to the right to rescan for a connected controller. Next, select Fit as the input and output device. Fit is outfitted with 17 100 mm motorized faders. The fader setting lets you choose how your controller interacts with the software mix layers. Here, you have three different modes of operation. You can set your controller to follow either of the on-screen mixers, mixer one or mixer two. Or you can choose standalone mode, which gives you an additional bank of control faders completely independent of the on-screen mix layer. Additionally, you can choose if you want your controller to follow your aux sense flip. Selecting this option will enable sends on fader when the mixer is in aux flip mode, so you can create effect sends and monitor mixes quickly and efficiently. By default, the master fader maps to LV1's master left-right bus, but it can also be customized to control any fader of your choosing. Simply select the channel you want it to control from the drop-down menu. This gives you the ability to keep high-priority channels at your fingertips at all times. Enabling follow aux master flip assigns the master fader to the monitor or effect return channel while working in flip mode. Emotion LB1 has eight user assignable function keys, which can be set from the UI settings page. This gives you quick access to commonly used functions from the main mixer window. Fit has an additional eight utility keys, three of which are user assignable. These can be set from the same list of functions as the software keys right here in the control panel. This gives you 11 customizable user functions in total. Now we're all set up and ready to mix, so let's have a look at some of Fit's mixer functions. In addition to the three custom user keys, Fit gives you an additional five factory set utility functions for some of the most important features. These functions are toggle rotary mode, create new scene, flip to custom layers, aux sends flip, and spill mode. Spill mode allows you to quickly populate the mixer with all of the channels assigned to a DCA link group. If you've set your controller to follow mixer one, you can use mixer two to display your DCAs. With the controller in spill mode, select a DCA in the on-screen mixer and the channels in the group will spill across the physical faders. The eight dedicated layer switches allow you to quickly navigate your factory and custom mix layers. Across the top of the controller are your 16 channel select keys which can also be toggled to your eight mute groups and your eight software user functions. Each display is outfitted with a bright, high-resolution scribble display. This display gives you five lines of information, showing you the current function of the above user keys, the channel name, the assigned channel input, the track ID, and the current function of the rotary control, which is located just below the display. The multifunction rotary controls are used for setting pan and input gain, which is toggled from the utility keys. Below that are dedicated function keys for your channel mutes and solos. 
Above the master fader, you have a dedicated touch and turn, giving you hands-on control of any plug-in parameter or mixer function. The display above the touch and turn shows you the current mix layer, the name of the channel of the master fader, and the property and value of the currently selected parameter for the touch and turn. To the right, you have a large tap tempo pad, which controls the global tempo setting of the LV-1 mixer. Fit can be used in combination with up to four touchscreens connected to your LV-1 system, giving you ultimate flexibility in how you control your mix, and making it the perfect addition for your LV-1 system. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.